in your life, I don't know about you, but I have three older siblings, um, and they're all married, and some of them have kids. And one thing that's taught me is that there's no such thing as too big of a family. And because of that, I found that you know when I moved away and went to college, I got the chance to adopt my own family. I got to trans transcend those relationships that you have with people of just friends or close friends and and say hey this is these are people that are my family these are people that you know I would do anything for we're at the start to be talking about two of my absolute favorite people, um, which by the way, Kristen, you look absolutely amazing, and Lewis, very dapper. Um, <laughs> so sometimes in your life, you come across a, someone and you think, wow, things will never, ever, ever be the same, and you knew it was meant to be from the moment you met. gaze upon the, the emblems here that represent the eternity of love between them and the physical representation of what the Spirit is doing here with us. Lord, just lift them up and bless them. But we all love them and we're, we're grateful for this. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Kristen, thank you for always being yourself. Thank you for always being my best friend. You've always been one of the most beautiful, most authentic, 
most loving, most caring people that I've ever known. You've seen me at my worst, but you inspire me to be my best. We've supported each other through times when life got hard and all we wanted to do was give in or give up or run. You're always there for me and I, I was there for you. We've sung, we've danced, we've laughed and cried, and we've explored and traveled the world. We've experienced life together. You've become my greatest adventure and I want to continue my life with you at my side always. Kristen, I take you to be my wife. I will love you unconditionally without hesitation. I will protect your heart that moves and inspires me, your laughter that delights me, and I want to keep your hand in mine always. I promise to support you through all your endeavors and all of your struggles. I promise to love you when the weight of the world seems to be falling on you. I will always seek to protect you. I will always seek to love you as Christ loved the church. I promise to love you, to respect you, to trust you, and to give you the best of myself. For I know that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Lewis, for as long as I can remember, I've prayed over my future husband. I've prayed for a strong, kind, funny, musical, and adventurous man. I'm so humbled to find each of those things and so many more in you. I feel so blessed by the Lord to have been your best friend for over four years now, and I could not imagine my life without you in it. This day has been a long time coming, but I'm so glad it's finally here. And I'm so glad that after this day, that I can finally call you my husband and I will be your wife forever. And now also my students won't be lying when they call me Mrs. Portillo. <laughs> I've loved you for a long time, but I know the best is yet to come. I promise to love you every day of my life, to never stop pursuing who you are. I promise to encourage you in all areas of life, wherever that may lead us. I promise to be there always in sunshine and in rain, always by your side, forever holding your hand, choosing you every day. I promise my loyalty to you, to our team, until the good Lord calls us home. What God joins together, never let man separate. Lewis, you may now kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis and Kristen Portio. I was able to, to come across Lewis and Kristen who no longer were just friends in my book. Um, they became family. And we can say that as Christians, we're all family. But let's be real, there's people that you're more close to than the rest of the family. There's people that you, you're like, yeah, that's my brother or sister. But then there's like the people that you say, that's my brother, that's my sister, that's who I will lay down my life to help them. And Guys, I want to let you know as you guys walk forward through these next few steps in your life, the fact of the matter is um, I'm here for you guys, and I'm excited for the, the next stage that you guys are going through. Light up the dark, but I can't see how you belong to a boy like me.
Lewis, you are everything and more that I could have hoped for for my best friend, and I can't thank you enough for making Kristen so happy. I see the way you love her. I see the way you comfort her, the way you go around with her, and the way you take care of her, and most of all, the way you lead her to Christ. Which brings me so much joy and comfort. Comfort that knowing she will be in the best hands for the rest of her life. I pray you guys, the life you create together will forever bring honor and glory to God. To the bright and good.